Hello, my name is Nick Regnier and uh, I wanted to make this video to explain and also to clarify why I have been making a lot of uh, videos on my uh, YouTube channel um, recently since uh, the lockdown early March uh, 2020 and initially I thought for some time it would be a, a very good idea um, to share with you my experience, uh, my knowledge about what I know about Aikido and, uh, and I thought the number of videos will be uh, made for a number of reasons. Um, one of them is to keep positive spirit amongst uh, many of us who will find this difficult situation, um, you know, coping with the COVID, having to stay at home. Perhaps you haven't got the space and you can't train. And certainly it's it's a very challenging time for all of us. So that's the one thing I wanted to do was just to keep a sort of a spirit, um, a positive spirit with, um, you know, sharing in difficult times. We can continue doing the training, but uh, the training will be done um, differently um, because in Aikido, we need a form of contact and we need to feel um, a physical contact something grabbing you or you can feel the technique you can just practice but this is not an option and so I thought well I'm not going to be putting my weapons in a bag and, and then wait for uh, this pandemic to be over because it could last for a while and we don't know. Um, so I thought, well, there are different ways we can progress because I think in difficult times, this is when we actually shine the best and we can continue doing, um, you know, training diligently. There's certainly a different way. I'm lucky enough that I have a, a garden and I've got the space to be able to do it. So uh, the videos that I have been making um, quite interestingly, for anyone who may be wondering, I uh, actually make them early in the morning uh, before anyone else gets up. So um, one of the reasons is I've got children, so trying to do it before uh, they wake up. But also, um, I was hoping that early in the morning there wouldn't be so much traffic, so I could have a, a moment where I can speak with um, you know the least noise uh, with traffic. Um, I live in London, so it's still in one of the residential streets, but the cars do drive past and it's not easy sometimes. And uh, I've had a few struggles to uh, make some videos. Sometimes I've had to restart them because it was way too loud and I didn't want to uh, put this video forward because of uh, the traffic. So it's finding the balance. But um, in the end, uh, when I first started the project, I didn't know I was going to make uh, that many videos but obviously in times I thought well I've got to start looking at um, improving the audio so I got uh, some wireless audio system with a, a, a microphone that I connect um, and I think the audio comes across um, better quality I can't unfortunately delete the full um, background noise but it kind of muffled it a little bit better so i'm hoping that the videos that i've made more recently will be of uh, very good quality um, in terms of uh, uh, vocal and you can hear what i am saying it's not 100 percent completely um you know background uh free of any noise but uh, you know, at least it's it's outside and I'm able to show you some of your things. So what what's interesting is um, I thought, you know, I would uh, begin to make a video explaining the relationship between Bukiwaza and Taijutsu. And um, then as I began making the video, I realized, well, <laughs> it's going to be a bit more than just one video because there's so much to talk about, um, especially the Iwama Ryu Aikido, we have uh, a very huge repertoire of uh, uh, weapons uh, specific uh, study and uh, Taijutsu 
anti-handy techniques and so forth. So um, in in quite, I mean, actually, in all of the videos, it's, it's all been uh, done completely alone. So I don't have a partner. So it's a bit more like a, a sotai training when I'm doing my personal training, but I'm actually giving some sort of a um, knowledge away and helping so if my videos can help someone to improve great and um, I think it's just the way to do it um, I don't believe that Aikido should be kept you know this is a per the journey that I have gone through with my personal experience that it should be kept for me and, and not to be shared across um, Aikido is for everyone so anyone who wants to learn um, and I think it adds also um, an interest and what I have done is I built a number of videos and very specific videos and I didn't know to which order but what was interesting is I began doing the Ken Suburi, the Jo Suburi, then the Kumitachi with the Hankas, then the Kumijo with the Hankas, um, the Kentajo, the old form, the Kentajo, the new forms the Kenno Wase, the Jono Iai, Kenno Iai, and the list went on, the 13 Kata, the 31 Kata, and um, as I kept on progressing going forward, there were a lot of things I discovered that actually I could create a video for this one as well, I could create a video for that and create a video for this. So what I did is because was well, surprised actually, um, since March 2020, I've built about 100, over 160 videos. Um, so it's quite a, a, a huge um, number of videos. But personally, I found each of the videos will be extremely informative and helping anyone who may, for example, uh, want to get some information about how to do first Ken Suburi or the second Ken Suburi, or the third, the fourth, the fifth. Same with uh, the Jo Suburi, and it has all the 20 forms, and I emphasize on a video for each uh, Jo Suburi, so there'll be the number one Jo Suburi, the number two, there will be a video for each of those, so giving a, a more um, detailed uh, tutorial. So, um, and what I've done is obviously, it's a huge list of videos, but if you check on, the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, is you'll find um, that I have also created a playlist. So you have a playlist for Joe Suburi, a playlist for uh, Ken Suburi, a playlist for um, Kumitachi, a playlist for Kumijo, a playlist for Ken Otajo, uh, the old form and the new form, uh, Ken no Riai, Joe no Riai, um, also the breakfalls. Uh, backward breakfast, forward breakfast, uh, ukemis, um, and a video about atemi um, strikes, which I think is a, an extremely important part of Aikido. Um, personally, I find that sometimes we're not emphasizing enough, not saying that we have to be uh, brutal, um, but showing the atemi is really important when they need to be applied. And uh, so I've made some videos. I've made a, um, also a playlist for stretching, which I think is um, also another part of Aikido uh, that I found extremely important. Um, there are a number of instructors who uh, have decided to do something with yoga, and I've not studied personally yoga, but I've been doing some stretching for um, a number of years. In fact, since I was um, 16 so i'm 48 now no sorry 47 but will be 48 uh, soon but um and that stretching has been ongoing for years and years and i do find that the stretching is extremely important because it really helps your aikido you become more supple more receptive and you can stretch more and you become a better uke so if you become a better uke to receive a technique you obviously become a, a better tori to execute the techniques so but anyway so i've just done so many videos and uh they'll be for anyone and they're all you know accessible for free anyone can go and have a look at so i'm just hoping that uh, they will be definitely helpful uh, for anyone who is um 
you know, looking for something very specific. So um, the videos that I do is and don't really think in order what I'm actually going to specifically do, because lately, at the beginning, I emphasize a lot on uh, Buki Waza and showed a lot of um, um, things with uh, the Joe, the Ken, and um, then I build more videos with um, Tajutsu, so more like a Sota training to show. And that part is a bit more challenging because sometimes um, you need a partner to show. And, and uh, so what I had to do is devise a video where I actually show myself being Tori and, and, and Uke both sides. So I'm hoping that uh, video will actually um, give a, a really clear distinction and how the technique can be done. Um, but hopefully one day when the pandemic will be finished, um, there will be more videos with uh, a partner or a number of partners and uh, people will appreciate more really what Aikido can offer. Um, but this is a completely different project and I call it um, an, an adaptation project um, to, to um, deal with the situation we're in with this pandemic, uh, COVID-19. So I'm just hoping that these videos will definitely help. So um, feel free to subscribe and so you can get, you know, videos as they come along. I will continue to share the videos on the Facebook, uh, but they will be very available, obviously, on YouTube channels. So I'm hoping that you've enjoyed um, watching uh, this video explaining the reason behind all this project and look forward to many more. Thank you.